we uh, have a phenomenon that has been identified as global Korea, and this is a sort of shorthand for the fact that uh, Korea's uh, international role, uh, building perhaps firstly on its uh, growing economy and importance economically, but also very explicitly on a, a new uh, degree of involvement in international affairs, uh, hosting various international summits. Uh, now Korea has, uh, for the next two years, joined the Security Council of the United Nations. Uh, could I ask you to look at uh, Korea's neighborhood in Asia, which after all contains several very large and globally important countries such as China, Japan, Russia, um, and sort of define for us uh, what a global Korea can actually aspire to? I think um, for me to have worked on Korea in the mid-1980s, to see a country struggling with its own uh, 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 issues surrounding its economic growth, which by the way, I mean, we were looking at 10% growth rates in those days. Uh, to see that, to see the peninsula issues, and then to come back as I did in 2004 and to see Korea kind of mounting this global stage uh, was, I think, for those of us who had this kind of Rip Van Winkle uh, experience with Korea, not having seen it in the, in, in the uh in the intervening 20 years, it was quite impressive. It was really quite inspiring to see this. And I think Korea um, is a country that has understood that its interests are to be global. I mean, to, um, to reach out, to have relationships uh, all, over the, all over the world. I mean, Korea is a country that really has kind of uh, emerged on the world stage. And in terms of these, some of these neighbors, what you see is China should be emerged on the world stage, but largely uh, you know, taken over by its domestic issues. Now, every country gets taken over by domestic issues. I mean, we have that in our country. The South Koreans have just come through an election, which was very much uh, uh, domestic. But in China's case, you know, they have huge international responsibilities, and I think they have trouble meeting those because of their domestic uh, questions. So I think you have this, uh, this very outward-looking uh, ROK and then this inward-looking PRC. And that's a bit of a mismatch right now, and I think it does affect uh, the six-party process and the sort of quality of these sort of um, patterns of cooperation that we're trying to, to have in that part of the world.